I'm so happy where we are today. It's one of the most exciting places in my career, I have to say. We are in front of the new methanol engine that we are testing, the first high-speed engine for single fuel applications. And actually, we started this journey six years ago when we really locked us down with a lot of brains and experts to see what is the future fuel of the maritime industry. And for us, it's clear, it's methanol. Methanol is the best sustainable fuel in the maritime segment because it is liquid. You can bunker it almost everywhere and you don't need any special treatment like pressurized tanks that you would need for hydrogen, for example. So all in all, it's the best compromise after diesel in order to move into a more sustainable future. This engine is unique in the world, as there is no other engine in this performance class that runs exclusively on methanol. It's great to see how this engine is now proving itself. After six years of hard work, a fantastic team has succeeded in achieving this result. It feels a little like we've followed in the pioneering footsteps of Gottlieb Daimler and Karl Maybach. When you look at the challenges we had to overcome here, two things are particularly important to consider. One is the development of the injection system. Methanol has absolutely no lubricity, so it was a particular challenge to work with suppliers to develop an injection system that formed the basis for this engine. The second step we built on was the development of a combustion process for a single cylinder, which has now been transferred to this 16V engine, capable of producing 2,000 kilowatts at 1,800 revolutions. The biggest question the industry is asking these days is when is green methanol available in any place of the world? And the answer is not easy to be answered because to produce green methanol we need green energy. In order to bunker it we need the infrastructure and in order to incentivize it we need politicians and regulations to be in place. The technology is rapidly maturing but now we need the production, the incentives, the infrastructure to go ahead. It's really unbelievable to see how interested the customer base is in this technology. Of course it is a and connected to the infrastructure and the availability of the fuel, but in general, the ecosystem and the industry is really aligned on that methanol makes a lot of sense in the maritime sector. So I'm more than positive that this is not a question of if, it's a question of when.